hey guys you're welcome to my channel today it's sensei diodogu how are you guys doing today today we'll be talking about popular misconceptions about photography or about photographers these are things people tend to say photographers are this or are not this or if you're new to the channel subscribe to show your support and hit the bell icon to have notifications about upcoming videos and content for you so number one misconception that i feel people tend to have about photographers in nigeria especially people use this term they say it like this they say no be just picture in pigeon which roughly translates to isn't just isn't it just the click of a button right if you look at hot couture if you look at high-end brand um christian dior if you look at chanel you look at corporate firms who are into advertising but if it were just to be the click of a shutter button i feel like there's no need to hire anyone i don't need to get a professional photographer who uses um, a sony ar mark 4 or someone who shoots with um, a canon 5d or any of those gears or someone who has been in the business for years right i could just hire john who has um, who is a photo enthusiast who uses an iPhone 12? There is a big difference. Why? Because John on the street is a photo enthusiast. Yes, he loves taking amazing pictures, he loves sharing his photos on social media, right? On um, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. But we have David here who is a professional photographer who learned photography, tutored. Who has also been able to create form of portfolio and above all who is also in the business of creating content for clientele on a personal level and as well for corporate brands that's why they don't hire john on the street but rather hire david some brands don't even hire national photographers who don't have a portfolio right or who haven't worked with brands to tell you that there's a big difference a regular photo enthusiast and a professional and commercial photographer so that's one so my dear friend it's not just a click of a picture. number two misconception people tend to have about photographers is people say that photographers are magic that is very very wrong photographers are not magicians i mean literally if you take a picture of someone let's say you're having a studio session and you take a picture of someone photographers tend to enhance images Apart from just creating images, is to tend to show it's like a visual representation of oneself. Talking about portraiture, you know, we are human, we have a texture, we have a skin. Come on. So, no offense to my fellow clients, but this happens. People say, look at the size of my face, or could you like, could you just help me adjust my Come on! I'm not a cosmetologist, I am a photographer and I tend to represent what I see. So, yeah, the thing is, if you actually feel bad about the way you look, I know it tends to happen sometimes. Photographers may do to an extent what they feel is necessary. When people say, oh, we are magic, we are not magicians. Some people are in the art of photo manipulation, that is what they do. Doesn't necessarily transcend to photography. Per se, there are similarities, yes, but there is a big difference. Now, number three misconception: photographers are hungry people. Oh my God! Let me give you an estimate. When I started off photography, it's late 2020. It's something I've always wanted to do. So right. So I remember trying to go buy a camera. I wanted to I had two options. I went with a friend of mine to Lagos Island, like one of the biggest camera markets we have in Nigeria. I was presented two cameras, the Sony Alpha 6800, right? And the Canon M50 one that. Now, the Canon M50 roughly cost between 295,000 to roughly 300. The Canon um, 6800, Alpha 6800 goes for 380,000 to about 4, 400, 390, I don't know the ranges now. 
that should give you an example of how expensive photography can be it is not something you want to venture into if you don't have the finances not just to buy gear but also to keep renewing gear there are things you may likely want to change as a photographer as time goes on as you improve more your skill and as you make more um, profits from your business of photography but trust me photography is not for hungry people um, people say this because they tend to say and tend to say oh chairman alpha uh, i don't start a picture i'm not uh, call it. Yes, people do that, but photography is way more than that. There's a whole lot into it. There is your set. You have to, first of all, you have to buy gear. You have to learn how to photograph image, which is a constant process, right? Till you get to the top and it takes years and years to develop. It's not something you just wake up and say, oh, I'm a photographer. Yeah, I can take pictures. Now. Who are you? But anyways, Photography is not a hungry man's job and aside from all this, there are people who make thousands of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on what aspect of commercial photography they actually do. Whether they are architecture, whether they are wedding photography, whether they are um, adverts photography, pandemic either or commercial photography or product photography depending also depending on the brand they actually work for so it's not just a hungry man's job it's financially it can be financially draining but above all this shouldn't scare you you should start small start somewhere and slowly build yourself up to the way you want yourself to there are three common misconceptions that we have about photographers and I hope you see the difference and the narrative is changed from actually changed from time to time. Yeah. So anyways, thank you once more. You guys are amazing. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.